So, ever since I visited every country in the world, I've been wanting to go to semi-autonomous republics. So here I am in Vojvodina, which is in northern Serbia. Um, apparently it's Hungarian speaking, it's quite rich. You can clearly see it with the, with the clean streets. Unless, uh, or unlike most of Serbia, which is filled with trash. Yeah, it's pretty random. Some nice stuff to see. So here is the Serbian flag on the left. Um, I'm guessing one of the other here would be Vojvodina. And then the other two, I have no idea what they are. Such a peaceful and nice city. This is such a lovely town here. Let's see now if we can find something to eat. It should be cheap. Food in Serbia is just incredibly cheap. So this huge uh, pizza slice here was less than a euro <coughs> and it tastes fantastic. Pretty nice sitting here chilling at the Danube River which goes through the city. So I just had one really interesting experience when I was walking up in the fort there and a guy stopped me and asked where I was from. So I told him I'm from Norway and uh, then he started rambling about how NATO had been here and bombed, uh, bombed the shit out of the country. And uh, he was pointing at this, this bridge here, which was one out of three bridges, he said, which was destroyed. And I'll, um, I'll go see if I can talk to someone else and see if that's something a lot of people here think about. Could be interesting to, to find out. For what? What do you think about NATO? Ah, oh, what I'm thinking about, uh, NATO is a great, uh, so awesome, that's all. Okay, that's all. so you like it uh, or like? Everything about NATO is the best. Oh, bye! Okay. Bye bye. Ciao. 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 chips? Okay, have a good day. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's, I should uh, give a little bit back since uh, we bombed uh, their country. I think it was happy for that. The fort is right up there, but I have no idea to get up, how to get up. Uh, I've been walking around and there seem to be like these entrances everywhere, but they're just places where people, uh, homeless people sleep. So it's kind of shady going through, but uh, maybe we'll lead up. Who knows? This is it. I guess I should have brought my car. It would be a lot easier. So it seems like a place where pe rich people just come to eat and take picture with this horse. But it's nice. <laughs> okay, it's actually quite nice up here with this view. It's funny that they have a Serbian food shop which is selling croissant and Berliner buns and yeah, calling it Serb Serbian homemade food. Maybe it is from here. So when I came to Serbia, uh, there was this girl who told me about the country called Liberland, which is a piece of land between Serbia and Croatia. Uh, so I, I contacted the president there and asked him if I could visit his country and he said that uh, actually uh, My driver got sick with corona and he was looking for someone to take him from the airport So now I'm gonna get to go with him uh, and he said I could stay overnight in his country and uh, It's gonna be interesting to see see what that's like. Have you guys heard of Liberland? No, no, it's a pretty tiny country 
and there's not many people who visited it. Well, between between Croatia and Serbia? Yeah. Piece of it's an island. Ah, and the it's, island. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. big. It's pretty yeah, big yeah. actually. But now they have uh, their country on boats. So the boat over there is the Croatian border police. That's why we can't step foot on the land, but we are now in Liberland. So yeah, I'm not gonna step foot because I don't want to go to jail. The official territory of Liberland is just up here around the corner. Um, it's kind of on the Croatian side and we are now on the Serbian side. Uh, because Croatians don't want people there, they, they don't want buildings there. So yeah, for now it seems like it's on a boat. And this is what the boat looks like on the inside with, I think, three bedrooms, four. Um, one here, one here, and then we have the suite. So as for now, there are no buildings on uh, Liverland. There used to be one old hunting lodge, but it was destroyed by the Croatians. So basically, the only historical building in the country was destroyed. But anyway, they have uh, this boat called the uh, Liberty, where I get to have a bed for the night and yeah, actually sleep here in this, this country. So now I'll be able to say that I've slept in Liverland. And here's the flag. <laughs> 